the same creature type. Hell yeah, dog. Three, four. Mm. I'm gonna keep this. Is that everyone? Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. No rush. I'll start us off. Uh, I'll draw. I'll play a plains and I'll pass. Alright, I'll draw. I will play a path of ancestry. It comes in tapped, and then I will pass. Draw. I'm gonna play a plains. I'm gonna tap light and tutor for my. Please. You can go while I'm shot. Choke destroy. Reveal an island. I'm gonna tap for a black and tomb. Uh, I'm not gonna go get the infinite. It's it's too early. I'm not gonna do it. It'll make the game way too boring. So instead, um, I'll take uh, breaches eager pillager. I'll put it in my graveyard, okay. and uh, I'll pass. Uh, go. I'll drop planes and I'll tap to application boundary. I'll pass. I'll untap, draw. I will play a forest. I'll tap my path of ancestry for a blue. My forest for green. I'm gonna play a growth spiral. I will draw a card, and then I will. Uh, put down a cavern of souls, choosing frogs. Bro. Then I'm going to tap a colorless, and I'm going to play a codex shredder. Pass turn. They strapped. will draw. Oh my goodness. A whole ring. Boros guild gate. Tap one for soul ring. Um, what is your creature, Mr. Uh, Gabe? I don't have a creature. It's a codex shredder. It's an artifact. Okay, okay, okay. I can tap it. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Okay, I'll uh, play a morphic full and pass. And tap a, a, I'll tap two, and I'll play Arcane Signet, and I'll play Pal cast Palantir Orthanc, and I'll pass. Uh, end step trigger for the opponent. You'll scry two, and then I'll put it like, yeah, that is fine. Um, I'll have, I'll have Gabe, do you want me to mill or draw for Orthanc? Um... If I mill, you take damage equal to the amount milled. How many cards you mill? Uh, just one for now, for each counter. That's be my first one. Oh, um, yeah, I'll have you mill one. All right, it's a Archivist of Ogma. Oh, I will. I'll take two, or I'll take one. Oh, where well, it's the I'm amount sorry, that you it's the mana value. My bad, mana value. Oh, the mana value. Okay, I'll take two. Um, on your end step though, I'm gonna tap my Codex Shredder, um, and I'm gonna have you put the top card of your library into your graveyard as well. To planes. All right, I will untap. I will draw. I'm gonna play another forest. Um, I'm then going to tap four to bring out my commander. Um, path of ancestry. Since the frog, I will scry one. Frog. Um, yeah, I'll put, keep that on. Um, I'm then going to tap my codex shredder. Um, I'm gonna mill the top part of my library. It's a forest. Uh, since it's a permanent. My commander will trigger, and basically it exiles it with a crow counter on it. So we'll just have this dice be the cards exiled with crow counters. And then, like, whenever I have time to cast another spell that's not a land, that, well, whenever I could play another land, I could play cards that are milled with, like, as if they were in my hand, basically. And with that, I'm just going to pass. Down pass. <clears throat> One, two. Um, play an island. Pay three for Malcolm Kenai Navigator, and I'll pass. I'll untap. I'll play a planes. I'll tap. I'll tap six. I'll cast a Chamel, the inner sun. Mm -hmm. uh, go to end step. I'll have two triggers. I'll trigger Chamel first. I'll discover five. Might stone and weak stone. Uh, I'll cast it. Um, ETB. I'll draw two cards. Bottom. And then I'll have Palantir trigger. So it'll be a second chapter. We'll scry to you. Uh, we'll, we'll bottom these two. And I'll choose uh, Gabe again. Do you want me to mill two or take the CMC? Uh, you can draw. OK, I'll draw. Uh, and that's it for me. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to play an island as my land for turn. Um, then I'm going to tap my Codex Shredder to mill myself one. It'll be a Simic Growth Chamber that goes with a Croak Counter. Um, I'm going to go to Combat, and I'm going to swing Growlonk over at UX. Be the 3-3, but on the attack trigger, I will... So I, for each frog that attacks, I mill three. So on the attack trigger, I will mill three cards. Um, Species Gorger, a Forest, and a, and Ruid Bark Ripper. I mean, I could just feel like that's what I'm going to... In response to blockers, yeah. I'm going to tap two blue... And one, and I'm gonna play Polymorph Jess targeting you. 
Um, each creature you control loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Alright, and the whack will die. Oh, that's next. Um, next I will tap 2, play a perpetual timepiece. I'm gonna tap it, I'm gonna mill myself for 2 again. Uh, a dream root cascade and a counter spell, but counter spell is not a permanent, so it will go into the graveyard. And then, I will pass turn. Is it Grelnock from Innistrad? Uh, yes. Morag, Fury of... Um... I'll play a Sulphur Falls on tap. A four for Coastal Piracy. Mm. And then I'll, uh... Uh, your frog doesn't have reach, right, Mr. Nope. Gabe? Yeah, I'll swing at you two in the air. I'll take two. So I'll get a lock and trigger for treasure. Also get a card. And I'll pass. I'll oh, untap Grelnock of Ancient Tomb. I guess we'll tap four using the tomb. I'll take two. One, two. Play a Argivian Archaeologist. It taps for two for two white and every turn an artifact might be rare to the battlefield. Um, I was dealing to tap the white, so I have one color floating. Uh, we'll cast Oswald. And then I'll go to end step. Uh, I'll trigger the Jamil first. I'll discover five. A staff of um, and then Palantir trigger. Oh well, the third counter. Scry two, okay. I'll keep it like that. It's so whatever. Uh, we'll choose X this time around. Do I mean a mill three or draw a card? I need if you if I mill, you take damage equal to the mana value. Yeah, no, you could draw. And then I'll pass. I will untap, draw. I'm going to play. I'm gonna play a Dream Root Cascade as my land for turn. I will then tap a green to play Frog Tongue. Frog Tongue. It's an enchantment for one green. Uh, when it comes into play, I will draw a card, and then enchanted creature can block creatures with flying. So now, Grolonk does have reach. Man, damn that frog is doing work. Um, then I'm going to. That's a real card. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what frog? Frog? Card? Yeah. <laughs> um, my deck is. It's not a good. It's not a good card. It is not a good card at all. But my deck is very on theme. Sounds like a fun card though. Um, you, you want to attack with them though, don't, don't you? Isn't the reach unfortunate? There are other frogs I can play. It doesn't have to be my commander. It can be any frog. Oh, I see. It's a enchantment. Yes. Um, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play a herald horn. Uh, as herald will into the batter, choose a creature type. I'm going to choose frogs. Uh, they cost one less, and I'm going to upkeep. Look at the top card. If it's a frog, I can put it into my hand and reveal it Jeez. yada 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 i love that art though very pretty art um i am then going to a for two green with cavender souls and path of ancestry and i'm gonna play an annuit bark ripper um it's just a two two its threshold is if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard which there are only three um it gets plus two plus two its flavor text is when it croaks so do you so it's a fuck like it's a frog. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? What is that called? Um, and and Urid Bark Ripper. These aren't real cards. I refuse. These are these are one hundred percent. This is a prank. A N U R I D. No, I see it. I see it. I was I was joking. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. They they I'm are very. I'm in these disbel disbelief. I'm gonna be honest. I do the artwork for Frog Con so weird. Here, I do a bug slide. Um, Path of so cool. Ancestry will trigger. I will scry one. Ooh. I'll keep that on. After that, I'm just going to pass. I'm gonna trigger Morog uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control. If it's the main phase, there's an the beginning of that come. Damn, you're. Uh, three power and toughness total. For each of them? No, uh, two for my commander, one for my other dude. My, uh, Arcavian Archaeologist. Gabe, you got a 3 3 and a what? A 3 3 and a 2 2. So, I'll. Uh, go at you, Gabe, for six, um, and then a hero. I guess it'll be a seven, six. You don't get the three combats from Karlak? Well, Karlak... Karlak's not when, Kar it's not when Karlak attacks, it's whenever you attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, then I get three attacks, yeah. Yes, sir. Let's get to do... Oh, uh, yeah, six. I'll block. Am I getting the first one? Um, well, Gabe got the first one, and okay. then... It doesn't have trample, right? No, okay, we're good. It doesn't have trample, but since it's moving through comp, it does. Heal. No, heals that. No, uh, well, because clean it's, up. it goes from. So for, so for her. Heal is definitely not the after first time. It's I after attack, cleanup. Yeah. yeah. 
and clean up to the end of the turn. Because you can definitely go combat, go main phase, and then kill something. Yeah. Well, because this makes it to where... You just untap them. Okay. Um, Does it have damage on it or something? Well, well it would get it would kick the, take the two damage from my Bark Ripper. Yep. And, however, um, so for Carlax, um, untap, it will gain first strike. Oh, that's right. It has first strike, so it wouldn't take it. No, it would still take it from my Bark Ripper. Depends on they the order get... you do the attacks. Because I get first strike until end up to wooden. That's only after that's. Oh wait, no, yeah. Because when so her, I believe her one would stack first. It's... It, you choose. You can I think. choose. Yeah, yeah, you choose. So yeah. Well, I'm actually, gonna... Morog's is Morog's is a landfall trigger, so that would go first. Right. Yeah. So his triggers first, and then on the second combat. That would be her trigger giving first strike. Okay. Um, Wait, did you attack and then you played Carlock? I'm confused. No, he. I played Carlock and then I attacked. Oh, so then yeah, shouldn't have first strike? No, he has first strike at the second cop. Yeah. Well, no, actually. No, yeah, it, it's there's a period in there, so it's not like after that ability resolves, they both resolve. Whenever you attack, yeah, right. if it's the first yeah, combat, he gets first strike at the first one. Yeah. Okay, so if it's first strike, oh, and first all of combat the for the turn. Yeah, it's gonna be all combats. Yeah. Yeah. So then he wouldn't have taken any. Okay. Correct. Oh, so if that's if that's the case, then I will just take the seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, Mirage, I'll swing at you. He'll get another plus one plus zero, so he'll be an eight six. Yeah, I'll strike. take eight. Okay. okay. Thirty one. And then yep. Sam, I'll swing at you. He'll get another Either. plus one plus zero, so that'll be Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. I've that's, had enough. That's a big boy. Run them pockets, boys. How many? <laughs> that's artifacts and enchantments, right? Correct. I have four. Six. That's 12. I have one. It's going to be 13. I've had enough. He's about to bust. I'm about to bust. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to put enough. you all. I'm going to put you all on a timer. So I'll tap three. World fire. Super I'll tap. I'll tap two treasures. Five. I'll play Revel and Riches. Oh, ho, ho. that's a fun one. Mhm. Mm this will go to graveyard. Uh, then I'll go to combat. I will swing uh, this two-two flyer at uh, Mr. X. I'll get another treasure. Go to twelve. I'll draw a card and I'll pass. Good luck, boys. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think at the end of turn I'll use my staff. Yeah. I'll take four life and draw a card. My staff. One, two, three, four. All right, now I'll go to my turn. I'll draw for turn. This one I didn't tutor for, so that's oh, why I'm good. allowing myself to do it. Dang, you got no shame just playing that and just having that many hey, turns. Hey, you got a turn. <laughs> you have a turn. It's There is counterplay. You have a full turn. No, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like, geez, there's so many creatures on board that's like pretty ballsy. No? Mm-hmm. It's like so much going on right now. Um, I'll tap my... I'm sorry, I played a Felwar Stone. Uh, I'll tap three. And I'll play River Song's Diary. Then Mara, pretty spooky. There's nothing I can do about any of that, really. <laughs> Wait, just <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel here. Uh, drawing a card. Five. Yeah, I'll draw another card. Yeah, I'll draw another card. I'll take four. One, two, three, four. Going on twenty-two. Doesn't help. I'll just end my turn there. On your end step. I have uh, two triggers, but yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, this is not going to affect those. I'm going to tap my Perpetual Timepiece and my Codex Shredder. I'm going to mill myself for three. Uh, Steeple Creep, Soul Ring, and Excavating and Druid. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Jamil Trigger, and then I'll resolve the, uh, the Palantir. Let's cover five. Oh, I did my math wrong. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Uh, we got a Scrap Troll Roy. Wait, why is your math I, wrong? You I have didn't enough, do math. You have enough oh. treasures, no? No, well, X does like 25 some damage to me. Oh. So. Uh, uh, no, actually, he does like 30 something. Pound to your trigger. Uh, oh, I I'll didn't try to. Uh, we will bottom these. Oh. And then I'll have X. Do you want me to mill four or draw a card? Draw a card. Oh, how nice of you. And I'll probably discard one, two. Uh, we'll discard a stone of Eric. And then I'll pass. I'm going to untap. I mean, you can just I... use the treasures for mana to bounce it or something, right? I know, I know, but <laughs> I mean, I have only so many cards in hand, let's just say that. Oh. On my upkeep? We'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna look at the top card. If it's a, if it's a frog, which was, it's a Jade Avenger. Um, I'll put that into my hand, and now I'll go to my draw step. First off, I will... I'm gonna tap a forest to bring out my soul ring. Yep. Is that the Elden Ring? 
the one and only. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> then I will... I'll drop an island as my land for turn. What do I have in here? Okay. I'm going to tap these three to mill myself three. Uh, negate, island, poison, dart frog. Uh, I'm going to tap... Well, I'm going to go to combat first. And I'm just going to swing my... Wait, how many... One, two, three, four. No, okay, I only got four cards. I'm going to swing my Bark Ripper and my Commander over at you, Seeker. How much is that? That'll be five. Okay, I'll take five. On attack, I will mill three for each frog, so that's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm going to move those right there. Actually, let's put this right there. Let's see what frogs I can bring out. All right, I'm going to tap a green to bring out a poison dart frog. It is a 1-1 one, one with reach. That is also a mana dork. And I can pay two to give it death touch until end of turn. Um, it, 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 it's from the newer set and it is a very great card in this deck. What else do I have here that I can play? Yeah, I'm gonna, wait, I need, yeah, green, green. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna tap a green. I'm gonna play a Jade Avenger. It ha It's a 2-2 two, two, and it has Bushido 2. Basically when it gets blocked, it gets plus two, plus two. I'm fairly certain that's how it works. I can look it up. And then I'm going to tap green, green, blue to play an Omibian. It is a frog that uh, I could tap it and target creature becomes a frog with base power and toughness 3-3 three, three until end of turn. Can't be tapped anytime until my next turn, but yeah, that's, that's out there now. Just vibing. Right. And then after that, I will pass turn. Oh, wait. Um, Sorry, my bad. When I tapped that, I tapped Path of Ancestry, so I'll scry one. Yeah. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, a lot of I'll figures. keep that on top. Uh, I don't even care if it gets counted. Uh, gratuitous violence? Jeez. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I have no responses. Yeah. Uh, I, I do want to say, Seeker wins next turn. I got oh, you. gonna kill me. I fucked up. I, I just, it's late. I just looked at the numbers, I was like, I'm good, I forgot to send me home. home. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. Um yeah, I mean this will this will this will be easy. Did you um, get a land drop? Uh I didn't get a land drop. Oh. But all my creatures have double no. Won't power. Be enough, right no? Because that's fourteen yes, plus it is. six? Twenty? Yes well, it is. It's twice. He has two combat. Oh, he has two combat. Yeah. Two combat See, that's the, that's the math I fucked up. That's the math I fucked up right there. See? Jeez. Yeah, um, so if I swing both, essentially, Karlak will be a 6-4, and he'll be a 7-6, so that's times 2, so that's 14, Plus 12, plus 28. In response, I'll crack two treasures, and I'll Cyclonic- Nah, I'm kidding, I'm fucking uh. <laughs> Finish your attack, and just do whatever number you need, and I'll be uh, on my way. I think that's literally it right there. Uh, count it though, because I don't want to cheat because the other two out of attack. Seven times two is 14. fourteen, and then twelve times two, so that puts me exactly at twenty-six. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. GG's, uh, boys. My bad. I fucked up. All good. Sometimes you gotta go for it. Should have tutored yeah. the infinite. It is what it is. Take care, boys. Take care. See you. Thanks for the game. Have a good one. Um, I'm not gonna get my third combat. Uh, and I do want to leave up. Some blocker. You don't get a third in combat because you didn't play a land? Is that right? Yeah, no, he, he gets a second combat because of Karlak. Yeah, but not a third because I didn't get the Gotcha. Mm. Um, yo, what I'll do... I be very scared of Gabe. He'll turn something into a fucking frog. Something's getting um, frogged. So I will swing out on you, Mirage. Um, so they'll both get another plus one, plus zero, and they do have first strike. So that's seven, four, and six. Okay. I do have one thing. I will pay two, and I will flash in a ring loaded saw blade. Um, mm -hmm. To try to do five to. Carlock. So then hopefully it's only 16? Uh, yep. Yep, that will be 16. Alright, so 22 minus 16, 8? Is that? No, it's 6. <laughs> Wait, is it? That's 6. I'm trying to do some quick math. I'm at 6. If I'm, my math is right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move to uh, combat main phase. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I have, do they have trample? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, okay. Then I, I'll break. block. I'll block okay. the, um, the Minotaur with my trawler dude okay uh so i'll be at 22 yeah this will die 
Nah, and it'll trigger and I'll get back my stuff. Um, so post combat main phase, I'll tap for two for a lion sash, and then I'll tap for one white off of tap me for and exile my troll. We'll get some uh, play hall of heal you up or uh, on basic. I will uh, I'll tap three, three. I'll play a bonders ornament <sighs> and then I will. Hey, a white. Sacrifice the staff. I'll lose two using the mana from the staff. Or drop. I will get a helm of possession. I can sack a creature. Or uh, to gain control of the creature. I'll pay one color of colorless. And I'll cast my stone of air. And I'll also pay two to return um, my staff back to my hand. And then I'll pass the turn. Oh, I'm sorry. End step. We have triggers. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll shoot Palantir. No, no. We'll choose Jumo first again. So we'll discover five. It's a trading post. And then Palantir will trigger. So there's five counters on it. I'll choose UX. You want me to mill five? Draw. draw. Okay. I'll draw my card. And then I play this card. One, two, At six. a certain point, no one's taken the Palantir triggers. <laughs> Don't want me to draw seven compared to drawing one? I'll pass. <laughs> I will untap. I will draw two or great. Okay. Let's see if this resolves. No blue one, players. Two, High chance. Three, four, um, five, six. I'm gonna tap six, and I'm gonna play. Um, cut. I'm gonna play. Cut your losses. Cause causality two. So I'm gonna sacrifice a creature with power two or greater. I'm gonna sacrifice my bark ripper. Uh, that'll get exiled because of your stone. But target player mills half their library rounded down. And when I casualty two, it will create a copy of it. And I can target new person. I'm just going to target myself. So I'm going to mill half my library. And then I'm going to mill half my library again. I think okay. it's funny how you're like, if this resolves. You're the only player with... Counters his own spell. You build your own counter spell <laughs> and negate. There's, a, there's, a, there's counter spells in white and red. There are, to be fair, there One, are. 1, 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, If you play this deck like six times, what have I ever countered anything? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So that'll be 31. Yeah. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, do you want me to do the second trigger right now or show you what happened? Show what's going to get milled? So that just goes to your coke pile, right? Oh, yeah, um, permanent code of the profile, yes, yeah, but I, I have to do this again because of the casualty. That's yeah, 15 just... this time, because you did 31, right? Yep. It should 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, what's 30, what's 62 minus 31? It's 31. No, it was 63 minus 31. Okay, that... so that's 32. So, okay. So, okay. Then half 32. So, 16. 16 would be half this. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards left in my deck. Um, Island, Mesmeric Orb, Galloping Lizrog, Desecrated Tomb, uh, Rejuvenating Springs, Plancaster, Frogling, Simic Signet, Island, Enchantment, Terramorphic Expanse, Island, Croak, Frog. I'm just going to go. Do you want me to just show you what the important shit is? Sure. Hey, just Okay, it's up to so you, really. these are all lands. This is Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, uh, Cultivate, oh. Thought Scout, not in there, not in there. Leapfrog, Turn a Frog, out. Bullrub Theater, Laboratory Maniac, Crawling Sensation, Command Tower, Papercraft Decoy, Kodama's Reach. Well, I, I um, guess there's one thing that matters is like, did you separate the two piles? Because I guess this is. Um, cause I, I do have one response on board that's a, like my stone, and that could potentially matter, but like it sort of depends on. The sequence of when they come in uh, at once so i'm separating uh, right now because like permanents are going to go to the crow counter um instants and sorceries will go to my actual graveyard well they go they all go to the graveyard it just triggers and then he goes into the exile no 
Yeah. So I'm saying like there is a chance for me to at least snipe something. Um, but it depends on like when they hit the gray bird is like the chance I can snipe it. Okay, that's fair. So I didn't really keep track of the first trigger. It's all good, dude. Yeah, but um, so I know that these two were from the second one because that was like towards like the beginning. The only real important one from the first one is a Thassa's Oracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I guess I'll say I exiled the Thassa's Oracle with my uh, stone. All right. Um, Cause that's ooh. the first one. Well, actually, wait. So as it enters the library, it gets exiled. Uh, as it no, when it hits the graveyard and you have your frogs ETB, um, I'll see the Thassas and then I'll respond to it by sacking my stone to try to exile it. Wait, when my frogs ETB? I'm oh, sorry, not ETB. When it triggers, whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard, that's when the trigger happens, right? So it's in your graveyard, and then your frog will trigger to put okay, a Pokemon so... on it, and then I'll exile it from the graveyard before you can exile it. So when Thass Oracle hits the graveyard, that's when you exile it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, cool. So, so that's my only response, though. So, and I'll draw a card. All the other, all the other ones were end up going to my yeah, pro counter then. The other ones are good. And then also, I think I separated all of the ancients and sorceries. Yeah, I I did. Okay. So yep, those are all exiled. These all get their croak counter. That's a thick stack. Yes. Croaking all day, boy. I don't think I play. I did not play a land for turn. So, luckily I saw a command tower. Where is it? Here we go. I'll play a command tower as my land for turn. And fuck, is there a way that I can just win this right now? Hopefully, maybe. You got How many it. cards are left in your library? You I have six. I have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You got enough blockers and I assume enough health. I am going to another round, but maybe you can do tap it. These, I'm going to tap these three, mill three more. 1, 2, 3. Um, okay, a deranged assistant, praying sanity, and a crawling infestation. Um, You draw a card while your library has no cards in it. Let me. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I can win this. Do it. Um, Blue, blue, blue. So I'm going to tap three blue and one to play Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Um, I'm then going to swing out with all of my frogs. So that will be four triggers. So I'm going to mill 12. Oh, shit. Wait. Mill 12. Jace will hit. We'll mill two, and then you draw a card, so that's 15 total. And you draw yeah. the last. And well, I, I, I would need go one to more draw. draw though, right? No, so I would I would mill 12, leaving me with one card left. Oh, we have one more left. Okay, then yeah, that works. Yeah, out. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then 13. So I would mill these 12. Um, I would activate Jace's ability. I target player would put the top two cards of the library into their graveyard. Bing. I would put these cards into my graveyard, and then I would go to draw a card. And then Jace's ability, if you would draw a card from your library has no cards in it, you win the game. Yeah, that, that seems to work Legit. out. GG. All right.